I have now um, stitched uh, the pieces together. I haven't uh, zigzagged around the edges because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to like put some, yeah, put some trims or anything like that. So um, I am gonna stick with this for now. Uh, I, many of the um, the stitches is not uh, back stitched uh, because um, it is. This is like uh, on the these uh, places here are gonna be covered anyway because the stocking is gonna be like this thin. Um, so yeah, and hopefully this won't like puff out too much. Not sure, <laughs> um, and I'm not sure that this one I could like stitch it in here, so it gets like a um, a puff out of outside of it. I'm not sure yet. I think I maybe will uh, put it inside here when I stitch them together, because then I can hand stitch them and they will like be um be like the square instead not sure yet um so it's movable <laughs> uh, but i just need to take these ones off and i need to find the picture again so i know what to do now but i have an idea so and this one is in the middle Maybe I should start at the bit, this one. Oh, I hope there is enough for both. Um, there's not. What to do, what to do, what to do. I could do something like this. And then cut it here closer. I'm doing um, this part first and then put the applique on top afterwards because I received so many beautiful appliques from uh, jewelry, and if there's not enough here. I can always uh, find some in, in the beautiful box that she sent me. Um, I'll do it a little bit like this. Maybe that's too much. I think it is. Um, See, I know I, I did a square here, actually I would have liked to put it by the square, but mm, it doesn't really, I don't have enough for a square, so it's going to be a bad one, that's okay. And this, um, if I'm, I'm not afraid that it bends, I can either rip it a little bit so it gets this um, more shabby look or I can I can um, cut it a bit closer and then underneath of all of this putting it very close because um, as I told you, you, I won't be seen on the edge really. So something like this. And then say, oh no, you haven't like, um, you have cut too close to the pearls. Um, I 
I don't mind because sometimes I put more pearls on, so that's okay by me. Um, you know. So this one I'm definitely gonna stitch on after I have um, after I stitched all the stockings together, or else uh, the pearls will be in the way. Um, and sometimes I do different and stuff. So it's just that I have an idea of what is going to happen. But this is this is what it is gonna going to be happening. Um this part match perfectly. So hopefully this does too. Yes, I can make it work. So the long one underneath here, this one, I'm just going um, like this much, what is that, that is a quarter of an inch I think, uh, over the line of the fabric, so something like this. It is not possible for me to have it closer to what I'm doing. Sorry for that. Um, and because it's tall, I can stretch it a bit. See something like this. perfect on the toe. Yes, what else? Let's think of this one. Ooh, sorry. Yes. Then we have the white one. Can I see if this What the way is that I just got to disappear again? <laughs> oh, it's here. Now it sticks out. And as you can see, there is probably not enough for both stockings. Maybe I can stretch it a little bit. I know I have a long sewing, um, a white sewing um, theme, seam, sewing seam, I think. So I could cut it um, so I could decorate both sides. One, two, three, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> there we go. Just gonna stretch it like that. So here I have so many possibilities to decorate it with beads and stuff. I don't know if I have I show you here. I have the center, I have all of these, um, I have this piece, and here I could put a bling. So um there's a lot of uh, decorating possibilities in, in these. And it wouldn't be, it probably wouldn't be silver. I would probably go with the white one or with the pink one just to like break it a little bit. So, So far so good. And then about this one. 
I am definitely gonna stitch uh, the sequin trim uh, on the machine uh, underneath the applique uh, so it won't show. Then I will stitch it up here when I am through with, um, with stitching it all together. This I am stitching this trim um, onto the stocking and this one I will leave um, I think I'm probably going to stitch it here and here it will make it so much easier to work with because I do know I'm going to put pearls or sequins or something on top of it so you won't see it then we have this piece is blank and we have we have we have something else i should have organized this a little bit better don't have the other trim okay then we will start on the other stocking oh, there we are this one is an applique this trim and this uh, buckle of a tool it fits so perfectly together yeah. tool is uh, this starting I am starting liking the tool but I didn't in the beginning I think it was uh, difficult to work with I didn't know what to use it for um, I still can't really make flowers with it um, um, I don't feel like it's it's um, well, it's where it should be. <laughs> if I could say it like that. So, and then I take the first pin out, and then take this one. I pin the first one first so it won't slide, and then I put the other one on top, and I take the other pin out again. Just for it to be easier to work with. This is definitely going to be a bow, uh, the last of it. And then I have uh, this one in some way. <laughs> Not sure yet. Probably putting more together. And um, then we have this one. to stretch it a little bit I took all the threads, but I didn't. And then what did we do? We did, let's see. Oof. And stretch it a little bit and cheat a little bit. Here. Pull it. That is the great thing of uh, working with tool on these projects is that I can stretch them a little bit and then um, hopefully I can make them fit all the way around the, the heel. Um, for me, it's not um, uh, so important that 
which completely uh, the same on each side or because um, it's not obvious it can't be perfect no even though I would love it to but it's not this is going to be just to the edge could have used a little bit longer only a half a centimeter, but I make it work. Should I put it here? Yes. I'm not worried about this. As I said, I'm probably going to cut it close to the edge of this. And then we needed to look at the applique. And I, of course, put it. Oh well, <laughs> it's here. Yes, this one is going to be perfect here, so I need some for the heel. Um, so I will just look through it uh, in a moment. But this is going to be the heel, and this one is already takes shape the stocking yeah. I'm a little bit sad that it's only for one side but then we need to like figure out something something I have this one in a white one and this I'm just gonna Put this on the other side. That is probably going to be okay. That's going to be okay. <laughs> you won't notice. <laughs> With all the big work that is going to be noticed. Um, Need to get this a little bit closer. Yes. We're gonna stitch these onto the tool. Then I am, what did I have up here? I have this one, this beautiful one. I love this. I'm so grateful that you sent so much of that. Um, did I use this? No, I think this was, I was thinking of uh, the hanger for the stocking on this one and putting some a tool underneath of it um, and then some kind of trim I'm not sure if it's gonna be this one on top it's probably do and then uh, something something in between so yes so it's gonna be layer on layer um, this but I'm pretty sure I put something underneath it this one this one and then this one on top but when I look at it now I would I really wish I had some kind of pink that was like breaking it a bit so Of this, do I make it just a ruffle? I just think it's a pretty too much stuff. This is so thin. Yes. Yeah. This is also a little bit more pink, 
So if I do a trim like, not like this. So I need to put two layers on top of each other, stitch it on the machine, um, and then ruffle it. So I will be back. Hey. Okay. 